hello lovelies welcome back to my channel welcome if this is your first time of stopping by hi you are highly welcome please consider subscribing to my channel to my old subscribers i say thank you very much for all your support so we'll be making this hotter beautiful gown for our princesses today if you are some if you are interested in this video please keep watching and watch to the end and i will see you at the end of the video So the, for this tie, I'll be cutting my front and my back bodies together and my fabric is folded into four. You make the first fold and then fold another one and whatever you are folding, make sure it's enough for your bust measurement plus your allowance. So I'm going to take out the label on the Ankara fabric and when you look at the end, you will see that I have extra for my zipper allowance. I've shown how to make, to make this fold in, um, in other of my videos. So I marked out my half length which is 11 inches plus 1 inch allowance for my joining and my fab remember my measurement is going to be starting at the center front then I mark, took my the half of my shoulder measurement and um, then the same measurement my shoulder measurement divided by 2 is what I'm going to go down with for my armhole depth and that's what I marked and I connected the lines. So the next thing we are going to do is to take our neckline measurement and for my neckline my width I marked at 2.5 inches and for my depth I marked at 2 inches. I'm going to connect the lines with a curve. If you have a French curve you can do that with, you can use your French curve. Then for my bust measurement, my bust measurement is divided by 4 plus 2 inches or 1 inch or, inch or 1.5 inches allowance whichever that works for you then i'm going to insert my waist measurement all waist measurement is going to be in the description box please check it out so what we are doing here is just to cut out our basic bodies that's why i connected my armhole but we are not going to use this arm armhole afterwards then from the neckline i'm going to mark one inch that's half inch for my neckline and then half inch for my armhole side that we're going to use to turn it inside out and also to attach our um our neckline our halter neck and from that one inch i'm going i went slanted the line to meet my armhole line then i'm going to go ahead and mark my back neckline this the width is the same with the front one and the length is 1.1 inch one inch and that's all for the bodies if you haven't subscribed to my channel to this moment please what are you waiting for hit on the subscribe button join the growing family don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video or you are enjoying this video so i cut out my back neckline then separated my bodies before cutting out my front neckline just like i've been doing in my videos then if you have been watching my videos you will know that at this moment i'm going to use my my fabric to cut out the lining for my body but if you don't if you have your lining please make use of your lining to cut out for um to cut out you make use of a lining then i'm going to go ahead and stitch only at my armhole you can as well stitch at your size seam if you want if you want but for me i'm stitching just my armhole and i'm going to go ahead and then turn it inside out the reason why i don't stitch my my size seam is because i might decide to cut out um, a little bit of a ss ss allowance but if i turn it in i um, it's kind of not possible for you to do it so i'm going to go ahead and then arrange my bodies together mashing or uh, mashing the armhole and then the, the, the half inch allowance that remain at the shoulder line mash it up and then see the two sides side so we are going to cut out our neck our hotter neck at this moment what i'm going to do first is just to take to to mark a straight line which i just marked then i'm going to make a point anywhere at the center it just it just a, a, a line a, a point that i made doesn't really mean and um, have to be at the center so i'm going to first of all um, mark my back neckline i'm going to measure my back just one of my, the back neckline then i'm going to go ahead and mark it i have about four inches there yeah then i marked it then i'm going to go ahead and fold my front neckline together then measure measure one of it from the center to where it stops
and for this i have about um 3.75 or 4 inches i can't really remember as, as i'm when as when i was making the voice over just mark whatever you have you you get the the two point then at the front part i'm going to go ahead and label it so this side is our front side neckline and the other side is of our back so from that front neckline i'm going to go up by half inch that's what i'm marking i marked i went up by one half inch and then from that half inch i'm going to connect it to make the center point that we made earlier so all these measurements we took the back one started from that center point we made to the four inches and then from the front one is started from the the center as well um center as well that's i mark the back one from that center to my right and then mark the front one from that center to my left and then from that half inch i made I'm, i went up by one inch up and then mark the one inch all through to where to the back neckline then from the front side i'm going to connect it in a slanted form then for the back side i i connected it with a straight line that's the front side even you look at you see it's a bit slanted but the back one is straight so i went ahead then connect the line if you don't understand what i'm trying to say in this video is already almost midnight this is 11 56 so i'm kind of rushing the voiceover so please leave a comment below for me and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so we're going to go ahead and transfer this to our fabric and for this our center front is going to be at the folded part of our um, fabric and our fabric is folded in two two so i'm going to go ahead and pin this down and while cutting it out you're going to add half inch allowance to the side and all the side the only place you're not going to add any allowance is the center front that match the folded part that we pin down then after cutting it out i'm going to dupl duplicate this because i'm going to be using one to turn the other one and this is it after I was, I was done cutting the two out and i found out that that center there is a sharp edge there so i'm going to use my scissors and then cut it out to have a nice curve there just make sure you don't cut um away your the the length of the of the color neck so i went ahead i'm going to go mark make a mark there so to know where i'm going to attach to my neckline or just know that the longer place is where is where you're going to attach to your neckline so i'm going to go ahead and then stitch the upper one side and then the two sides so that we can turn it inside out and this is what i'm going to use for my gathers and my gathers is my half length minus my full length whatever i have there i'm going to add two inches allowance to cut out the, the length then i hemmed it and then gathered it and this is it after i was done gathering it and i also went ahead to hem it i'm going to go ahead and connect this to my body and for this as usual we are matching our center front to um our matching our fabric front facing front and then stitch it together so this is it after i was done turning the um the water the fabric inside out and then the, the half inch at the, the side that we're going to attach to the neckline i use my iron to iron it in to keep it in place but you can as well do this without ironing but i think the ironing part is going to help the work more so i'm going to go ahead and then fold this together and then mark, mark the center of the fabric so what i did is just to turn it inside out where i showed they're going to stitch the the up the upper side of it and the two sides i stitched it then turn it inside out then the the other side we are going to attach to our neckline i ironed it by half inch inward so that's the only thing i did there so we're going to match our center neckline to our center halter piece piece and i'll open it up and then attach this into it we're going to first of all stitch the first one down then use the other side of the fabric to close it up to stitch and then stitch it down just like you want to attach your collar 
then you are you're going to put your back wall neckline um to meet the end of the fabric and then stitch it down all the way from the front to the back you can use your pin to uh, to hold it so that um you can it can, it's easier for you that's what i did and um, before stitching it down and this is it after i was done stitching it down the next thing i'm going to do is to hold in my zipper allowance and then attach my zip and that's all for this time <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you do if you haven't subscribed to my channel to this moment <laughs> please hit on the subscribe button join the green family and don't forget to share my videos to family and friends please and i will see you in my next video bye bye thank you for watching bye bye <laughs>